Hey guys, what is up? It is Stuttle245 here, and I'm bringing you some MX vs. ATV Alive, and this is on the map, or the track, Ocean View, and I'm using a Suzuki RMZ450. A great bike, I believe, for myself, it is the best of the 450s. I mean, it's still not, it's not up to speed with the 250Fs, you know, but it, it's a good bike. I had fun with it. This was a track that I hadn't ridden on much at this point, and so it's not the smoothest riding you're going to see out of me here. But I try to do my best, and you know, it's on all time difficulty, and actually, James, I'm racing against him here. So, from some of the comments I've gotten on some of my videos, it makes it sound like some like a lot of people are having trouble racing James. But I really haven't had that problem. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. You know, maybe it's the difficulty level. I've I mean I raced amateur difficulty for a while when I first got the game, but not so much since then. And you know, I usually race on either pro or all time. And whenever I'm on a four fifty, I would say probably seven out of ten races on a 450 he's in it so as you see right here he flies by me there because I just had some horrible riding there but I get him back but what I'd like to talk about during this video is um, that idea I had a while back about doing a real-life motocross video you know actually showing me and it hadn't really worked out up to this point but I've got good news. Just the other day, I ordered a GoPro Hero HD helmet camera. It's the motorsports one. And so I had to wait until I sold my books from last semester's college, and I used some of that money to buy them. And so when I get that in the mail, I plan on taking that to a couple of the practices at local tracks and doing some of that and maybe I'll show you guys like a lap on a couple different tracks so I'm actually going to be practicing this well, I sh hope I will be this coming Thursday and I may have my have the camera by then I hope so if so then I'll be definitely getting some from that but definitely in the next you know two to three weeks I should be able to get some footage for that and I will try and get Actually, I'll try, like, the day after I record it to get that, you know, the video out to you guys. You know, hopefully you guys notice a difference in the quality. I, I know my channel, there's, like, I, ha I don't have very many subs on my channel, but the people that I do have, it seems to be split. Uh, a lot of you guys only watch my motocross vi gameplays here, the MX vs. ATV Alive, and then... The other part, watch my Call of Duty videos. And so if you don't watch those videos, then I probably haven't mentioned it, but, you know, part of the reason that there was such a break, in, like, recently in me making these videos is because I've started using new software. It's Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. And actually I have, it's the master collection, so I've got the Photoshop, too, that I've been using. As you can notice if you check out my channel I made up a new background the other day I was just playing around a little bit with it and, and got that done and so I thought that looked pretty neat I'm gonna be doing more with it you know make it a little bit nicer but for now that's what I did and so it took me quite a while uh, using Premiere Pro here to get the hang of it but the quality is so much better and the reason for that is because it can it is compatible with the format the video format or the video codec I guess is what it's really called that my um, HD PVR records in which is an M2TS it's an HD format obviously and uh, before I was using a version of Sony Vegas it was like Sony Vegas Movie Maker HD or something like something like that movie studio HD and it wasn't compatible with it and so I had to get a video converter and you lose part of the or you lose quality when you use one of them and so it's actually best to go straight from recording and edit that file 
without converting it to a different format and so that's what I'm doing here and I can actually keep because it's at 60 frames per second when I record and so I can keep it at 60 frames per second until I render the video and so that keeps a whole ton of the quality it, I mean it is much higher quality what I'm being able to put out to you guys than what I was able to before so it's getting there you know I'm still playing around with red render settings and you know trying to get it better it, it's a very complicated program I have to say I'm not too good with it yet but you know with time I'll get better so and right now it's only a trial version that I have I do plan on purchasing it eventually um, I don't know when it is very expensive actually so for now this quality is very good at some point and maybe like after a month the quality may go back to what it had been before and I'm sorry about that guys but at some point I do plan on buying this master collection so you know it's just a lot of money so <laughs> but and also I would I plan on also using Adobe Flash in trying to create new intros for my videos because you know those intros really aren't that great and with a with flash you're supposed to be able to do some pretty cool stuff so I just need to learn how to use that but hopefully you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and I hope you guys have a good one